forecast. And hello there. At 615, we take a look as far as the rain goes, what has fallen so far. And I can tell you the good news is we have seen about a quarter of an inch so far, and we're seeing the uh, graphics load pretty slowly. A quarter of an inch in Anderson and Greenwood. If we want to take a sky cam, we can do that, as we just have light showers over the area right now. On your drive home, we take a look at 616, and uh, lots of stop and go here appears on the interstate this evening and you're doing so on wet roads. You can count on that with just a trace of rain at GSP again significantly higher amounts in southern sections of the upstate and I think overall out of this storm system that's the way it is going to be. So again things changing very slowly a dramatic reveal here as far as the rain goes and talking about our rain totals still a good 10 to 11 inches below average across the area. So let me see if I can get this moving over here. We um, will get a break rain over the next hour or so, and then significant showers coming in. So here's live Super Doppler 4 HD. Michael just put another quarter in the machine, so hopefully it'll keep working for me. Here we are with everything moving in from the south and west. Our temperatures will budge very little over the next several hours. And overall, this is a pretty mild air mass. It's rain now around Boone, but there was some snow on Grandfather Mountain today. And there is rain now in Knoxville and in Gatlinburg. They're expecting about an inch of rain or so out of this as well. But with the burn areas, a flood watch in effect for them because it won't take much to lead to possible mudslides in the area. So from the bigger picture, again, as I said, everything's coming up from the southwest and that everything has included some thunderstorms. In fact, severe weather, severe thunderstorms, winds 50, 60 miles per hour have been moving out of the Gulf of Mexico into the panhandle. They remain under a watch and and isolated warnings and then you see some of these more significant storm cells mainly tracking off due east so they're likely to hold together and move across the low country where we are just going to get other pieces of this energy mm -hmm. and I'll show you when you can expect more heavy rain across our area so again there's the watch box as far as severe weather goes and we have some snow Nothing unusual there across uh, the northern plains, of course. But what you can't see is an upcoming dip in the jet stream and a big chunk of Arctic air that's going to be moving in our direction. So that is going to be our big newsmaker for the end of the week will be the dramatic change in our temperatures. Here we are at 9 o'clock tonight. And I think that uh, by about 8, you could expect our rain to start picking up over the upstate. But pockets of heavy rain, and that's going to be off and on through the evening hours. And then by tomorrow morning, check in with Dale. We'll be tracking these heavier pockets. But in mid-morning, lunchtime, we'll even have a slight thunderstorm chance for us. Not expecting widespread severe weather. This is not a repeat of the other day. The dynamics are just not there. And then by late tomorrow, we'll just hold on to a slight rain chance on the mountaintops. We're in the 40s for tonight. Some dense fog possible in the morning, so be careful there. And then we'll get into Tuesday with things improving after lunch as far as the storm chances go. Bitterly cold air moves in late Thursday. You'll find it here at home on Friday morning.